Good evening, good evening, my brothers and sisters and my friends. God bless you. Today again is another Thursday night, uh, November 11, 2021. We are coming to the end of the year. Wow, how the Lord has protected us, has kept us, has blessed us, has fed us. I've done all for us. And now we are coming to the end of uh, 2021. <clears throat> So good, good evening again. Welcome. It's always a pleasure when we gather together as children of God and eat at the table of God. So welcome, welcome. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. And those on who listen on uh, WhatsApp and those who listen on uh, YouTube, welcome and God bless you. And for those who are on, on uh, YouTube, if you have any question, you can send an email to Brother Dari, D-A-R-E, at i s r e d a at a o l dot com. Again, brother Dari D a r e i s r e d a at a o l dot com. God bless you, <clears throat> Father. We just thank you for tonight. We give you all the praises and the glory and honor. We adore you, O Lord God of Israel. We love you. We praise you. We worship you. We magnify your name, O God, and we glorify your name. We honor you, O God, because you are majestic, O God. You are the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the God of gods, the everlasting living God, immortal and invisible God. You are God the Father, Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God of Israel, that you have been keeping us all these times. You have protected us. <clears throat> You have delivered us from the hands of the evil ones, the evil men, women, the demonic and satanic evil and power. We thank you, Lord Father God, that you are God that feeded us, that today we woke up and we saw another beautiful day, and we are still alive and we are breathing in your oxygen. Many have passed. Today they became history. But we are still alive, O oh God, <clears throat> to the glory of your name. It is you that keep us, O oh God, it is you that protects us. It is you that blesses us. It is you that prospereth us. It is you that watch over us. You know the beginning unto the end. You are our Father. You are our God. You are the God of our restoration. You are the God of our salvation. And we love you, O God. We pour out our soul, flesh, spirit upon you, O God. And blessed be God forever and evermore. Blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ forever and evermore. And blessed be Holy Spirit of the living God, the Spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, O God. Let every living soul bow down before you and worship you, O God. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, that in mention of the name Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow of all things on earth, of all things on, uh, in heaven, of all things on earth, and of all things beneath the waters and beneath the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. Father, we worship you. Father, we magnify your name. We honor you, O God. You are worthy, O God. No one can do us the way you do us, O God. So we thank you, Lord. Even as we gather tonight again to eat at your table, O God. We thank you, Lord Father God, even for the governorship election that went in Nigeria, in Anambra State. Even as we have lift up, lifted up that state in prayers before you. Even all the people who have uh, predicted that there will be bloodshed, there will be head rolling. But it never came to pass, O oh God. We thank you, Lord Father God, for protecting the people of Anambra State in Nigeria. We thank you, Lord Father God, that the governorship election went through peacefully. And they have elected a new governor. So, Lord Father God, I lift up that governor, the newly elected governor before you, O God. I pray, Lord God of Israel, that you will give him the strength, the knowledge, the wisdom to rule an Anambra state, O God. That will bring that state that is already doing well, that it will do much more, 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 and prosper, O God. That, Lord Father God, that you will protect him, O God. You will protect his family, O God. That you be with him, O God. That, Lord Father God, he will consult you in the times of need. That he will pray unto you that you may give him the strategies 
that he will use in governing Aram Anambra state, oh God. I pray, Lord Father God, you give him the strength to bring his people out of po poverty to prosperity, out of darkness to light, oh God. So, Lord Father God, thank you, Lord, for you are God who have made way. And as I listened to his accept acceptance speech, I, I saw that this is a man who is grateful because he, he, keep he kept talking about God, God, God. So, he's a man who really, really appreciates you, Lord who have known that you are God, that where he is today is you who have brought him, O oh God. So, Lord Father God, I cover him with the blood of Jesus Christ, even as he ascended onto governorship of Anambra State, in, uh, that will be, uh, I think it's March or April next year, that you will give them the wisdom, that your name will be glorified through him, O oh God, that men will bless you through his good work, O oh God. So, Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Father God that the election went peacefully, that all the predictors who have said that head will roll on the street, that blood shed all over the places, it never came to pass. We lifted up and embraced it before you. And Lord Father God, thank you for answering our prayers, oh God. And thank you, Lord, also for the government, because it was prayers and actions, prayers and actions. Thousands and thousands of troops were sent there, policemen, mobile police, military, and all the security services that went to monitor the election. So, Lord Father God, we thank you, Lord, because our prayers and actions goes together. It's just like a faith without works is dead. So, Lord Father, we thank you for the government, the federal government of Nigeria, that they did well by sending people there to protect the people so they can come out and vote for their uh, candidate of choice. So, we thank you, Lord Father God. We glorify your name. Blessed be God forever and evermore. So, Lord Father God, I just lifted up, uh, lift up the children of Israel. I lift up Israel before you, O oh God. I pray, Lord Father God, that you come to protect Israel, Lord Father God. Even the plan of the enemies against Israel, that you reveal it to them before they strike, that they might neutralize the plan of the enemies against them. Jerusalem, the city of David. Jerusalem is the city of God, O oh Lord Father God. I pray, Lord Father God, that you come to protect them. I pray for those who have not known Christ, O oh Lord Father God, that the veil of Moses fall off their eyes, O oh God, that they may receive the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ that they may be saved, O Lord, Father God. I pray for the salvation of Israel. I pray for the peace of Israel, O God. So, Father, we thank you, Lord. I lift up Africa before you, Lord, Father God. I pray, Lord God, that you will train young youths, O God, who have knowledge and wisdom and understanding and the fear of God, because the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, that will have the love for Africa, Lord, that will pull out Africa out of darkness, O God, to light, that will bring Africa to our glory, the glory that you had for that you have for Africa, O God. I pray, Lord, Father God, that you forgive the sins of the black people, the black race, the Africans, O God. I pray, Lord God, that they will come to you and ask for forgiveness, that you may heal Africa, you may heal the black race, O God, that you may propel them to that destiny that you have for them, O God. It is not enough for few people to be successful, but a whole nation, like the children of Israel, even though where they were living, all the leaders were blessed, and the people were blessed too, O God. So I pray, Lord Father God, that Africa will turn their hearts unto you, that they will worship you in spirit and in truth, that you may reign into their situation. Father, we thank you, Lord, even... Tonight, I lift up your daughter before you, Lord Father God. Minister Mag, as she come to preach the word, oh God. Lord Father God, we thank you for the anointing upon her life. We thank you that she's the anointed one of you, Lord Father God, that you are God who have called her into ministry, oh God. Thank you, Lord Father God. Even you say you say her love is contagious. With her contagious love, she use it to bring men into your kingdom, oh God. So, Lord Father God, thank you for revelation and understanding. May the blood of Jesus Christ come to cover her. Lord Father God, all the words of prophecy, the great things that you have spoken into her life, oh God. We know, Lord Father God, that you bring her to those places, oh God. Lord Father, we thank you. Even the prophetic gift that you have put in her, that you will stir up that prophetic gift, oh Lord, that we should use it to bless the church of Christ and we should use it to bless many, oh God. So Father, we thank you for our life. Even as she come tonight, oh Lord, Father God, I pray, Lord God, that the Holy Spirit will speak through her, oh God, that the word she will share tonight, Lord God of Israel, it will be a blessing unto us, blessing unto those who are on the live at this time, and blessing unto those that will listen on WhatsApp, and it will be a blessing to those who will listen on YouTube, oh God, that Lord Father God, it will cause them to repent of their sins. It will cause those who are already walking in righteousness and holiness with you to continue to strengthen them, oh God. And the backsliders in our churches will cause them to come back to our Lord Jesus Christ. 
they are first love, oh God. Let your name be glorified in everything that she does, oh God. Lord Father God, the ministry is you, not by work, not by power or by might, it's by your Holy Spirit, oh God. We pray, Lord Father God, for myself, my brothers and sisters who are on the line, that the work that you have given unto us, that it shall be led by your Holy Spirit, not by us, but by your Holy Spirit, because it's all about you, it's all about your kingdom, and it's all about your glory. Lord Father God, forgive us our sins, known and unknown sins, intentional and unintentional sins. Presumptuous and not presumptuous sins, and those sins that easily beset us, O God. We submit ourselves unto you, resist the devil, and we know he shall flee away from us. Have your ways in our lives, O in our lives, O God. We pray, Lord Father God, as you increase this in our lives, that we may decrease, O God. Thank you, Lord Father God. Give us power over serpents, scorpions, and principalities. And we lift up our children before you tonight. That our children will love God. Even our generation, unborn children, unborn great-grandchildren, great-granddaughters, even unto the return of our Lord Jesus Christ, that they will serve you, they will love you, that they will be mighty on earth. They shall be blessed, O God. They shall be blessed, O God. They shall be mighty on earth, O God. Great things shall come their way, that they shall prosper, O God. They shall be the ones that will turn men from darkness to light from the power of the devil unto you that they may repent, O God. That Lord Father God, bless them, O God. Even the unborn great-grandchildren unto the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for tonight. We cover the line with the blood of Jesus Christ. Let every worship and praises that come up from here be a blessing unto you. Let it come to the throne of grace as a sweet-smelling savour unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. Good evening tonight. Welcome again, as I say. So our sister, I mean, man, we come now and lead us in worship and then in the word of the Lord. God bless you. Enjoy the word of the Lord. Let it bless us. Let it cause us to come to walk in his holiness, in his righteousness. Let it cause us to prosper, you know. So for, for those that keep the word of the Lord, we have to keep his laws, his statutes, and his commandment that we may prosper, that we may live long, that our ways, and when we die, that we may make it to heaven. God bless you. Hallelujah. For the word of God is powerful. It is life and spirit as our Lord Jesus Christ. And he has changed my life. We are testimony, testimony about what God has done in our lives, oh God. So we thank you. We bless you, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh Lord, you're great, you're mighty, you're, you're wonderful. There is none like you, mighty God. Oh, we praise you tonight. Father, we thank you, Lord. It is with great honor and privilege, Lord, I humble myself before you, before the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and before our brethren, um, even though we cannot see each other face to face, but we know that you're here, and, and the Lord knows who is present. It doesn't matter if you're actually on the phone on the phone right now or if you will be listening later on at a later time we thank god for his mercy and his grace we thank god for life we thank god for his oxygen we thank god for his holy spirit we thank god for his saving grace for his salvation oh father we thank you we bless you had it not been for you lord where would we be Oh, you have brought us this far, Lord, and we know and trust that you'll take us all the way, all the way, Lord, all the way, wherever you have already planned or wherever you have already ordained for us to go, Lord, my God. Oh, Father, here we are again another Thursday evening. We come to bow down before your throne. Oh, Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit do a search in our heart, Lord. Oh, search us, Lord, uh, and know our ways, Lord. We ask for forgiveness of all sins, none and unknown, action or mission, Lord, my God. Oh, Lord, we ask you that the blood of Jesus, uh, only you can cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Lord, from all sins, Lord, or even iniquity. If there will be anything in us, Lord, tonight, we ask, Lord Jesus, by your mercy, by your grace, Lord, 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 you that you forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord, even as we forgive those who have trespassed against us, Lord. Oh, Lord, help us, Lord. We want to be drawn closer to you. We want to walk with you, Lord. Help us, Holy Spirit. Yes, indeed. We cannot do it on our own. 
and it's not by might, it's not by power, it's by your Holy Spirit. We ask all this in the name of our Lord, your Son, Yeshua Mashiach, the soon coming King, and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We ask and we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you hear us from heaven. Because we don't come in our own will, in our own merit, in our own strength. Uh, but we come in the most powerful name of Jesus. The name that you have given us, Father. There's no other name that you have given us. And we embrace the name of Jesus. We believe in the name of Jesus. We stand in the name of Jesus. Father, we, we realize and we confess and we declare there's nothing we can do outside of the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And we thank you that you have given us your Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, the indwelling spirit in us, it is that the, the powerhouse without us being connected, without us uh, being led by your spirit, uh, all that we do is in vain, it is in flesh. Uh, so Holy Spirit, we fully depend on you. We submit ourselves unto you, Holy Spirit. We ask that you have your way tonight and forevermore in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit says the Lord let your glory fill this house let your praises fill my heart let it dress all offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for you alone is not like you lord you alone are worthy you deserve the glory jesus you alone you alone are holy you alone are worthy you deserve the glory Jesus, you alone, let your glory fill this house. Let your presence fill my heart. Let it wrestles offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for you alone. You alone are worthy. You deserve the glory. Jesus, you alone. You alone are holy. You alone are worthy. You deserve the glory. Jesus, you alone, you alone, holy, 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 you alone are worthy, you are worthy, Lord, you deserve the glory, Jesus, you alone, Jesus, you alone. Jesus, you alone. Jesus, you alone. Oh, you alone. Holy. Oh, Jesus, you are so holy. You alone are worthy. Worthy are you, Lord. You 
you deserve the glory. Jesus, you alone. Jesus, you alone. Hallelujah. I will untie his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will untie his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad he has made me glad he has made me glad i will rejoice for he has made me glad i will rejoice for he Risen from the dead, and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. Risen from the dead, and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. From the dead, and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That Jesus Christ is Lord. He's my Lord. He is my Lord. And my knees shall bow and my tongue confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, he's Lord. He's Lord. He is Lord. Every knee will bow. And every tongue will confess.
confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That Jesus Christ is Lord. We are Amazing grace, 
as the sun that saved the wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart to fear. Was grace. My fears relieved How precious is The grace of yeah, I first believe My chains are gone set free my God my Savior has brought rents on me and like a flood his mercy reigns unending love amazing the Lord has promised good to me. His word, my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be. As long as life endures, my chains are gone. Set free, my God, my Savior has ransomed me, and like a flood, His mercy reigns. Amazing grace, unending love, unending. shall soon dissolve like snow the sun forbid to shine but god who called me here below will be forever mine will be forever mine will be forever mine hallelujah will be forever mine thank you jesus lord we bless you lord we honor you Lord, we consider you. Lord, you are awesome, God. Hallelujah. There is none like you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Good evening once again, my brothers and sisters. Good evening. Good evening. Hallelujah. Tonight... Uh, my brothers and sisters, we're going to get into the word now. And what I will be sharing, actually, um, is this understanding that I receive. And how I receive this, and it is from the word, and this happened on the 6th actually yeah november 6th 
I woke up around 6 a.m. on that day. And for some reason, um, I said, okay, let me just do my devotion and start um, reading the word. And as I was reading the word, at first there was, there was this, I think, pastor who was preaching. Um, I woke up and I, I guess my phone was just on it. And I followed a little bit and then I said, okay, let me read the word. I woke up November 6th at 6 a.m. And as I was reading, then um, I don't remember exactly um, when the thought came to me, but the thought came about uh, the promise of God. The thought came to me about the when um the book of acts where jesus had told the disciples to wait on the promise and then the promise of the the holy ghost so if you turn to acts chapter one let's take a look at it first and then I will, by God's grace and the Holy Spirit, will help me to share my understanding what I receive. Like I said, I always say that this is my understanding, this is my what I receive. And I share it and I, I urge you that to seek the Lord and allow the Holy Spirit to give you further understanding or your own understanding about the topics that we share on this line. And that's how we learn and that's how we grow. What we receive, the understanding that we receive, we share it. And you have, I don't know how long you've been following up with um, this Bible study. As you all know that we really emphasize greatly on the word of God because without the word of God, we cannot come every Thursday and just tell stories. Anybody can tell stories. There's a lot of storytelling, but if it's not backed up by the word of God, it's just our own story. Okay, So that's why it's very important. We make sure that the focus is on the word. The word, the word, the word. Because that's where our life is attached to. Our lifeline is in the word, my brothers and sisters. So we have to stay in the word. We have to stay focused on the word. So if you turn to the book of 